Ankle injuries are very common in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Three submissions that target the ankle are the toe hold, the estima lock, and the ankle lock. The outside heel hook, the inside heel hook, and the aoki lock target the knee, specifically the anterior cruciate ligament, using the calcaneus, the heel bone, as a lever. Let's take a look at the relevant anatomy for the ankle. The first structure we see is the skin. Underneath the skin, we have several layers of muscle, and then we have the bony anatomy of the ankle. Relatively speaking, the ankle joint is a stable joint compared to other joints. It is made up of three bones, the tibia or leg bone, the fibula of the outside leg bone, and the talus. It is a relatively stable joint because it has a roof, primarily the tibia, a medial wall, an inside wall, the tibia, a lateral wall by the fibula, and a floor, the talus, much more stable than other joints. The toe hold and the estima lock target the ankle primarily through forced inversion, forcing your opponent's toes toward the midline of his or her body. The primary structure that is targeted in this attack is the anterior talofibrillar ligament, which connects the fibula to the talus. This is the primary ligament that is injured during a toe hold or estima lock. The ankle lock primarily targets the muscle and tendon of the tibialis anterior and the extensor digitorum longus. There are three grades of injury when we are talking about ligaments or tendons. A grade one injury is a small soft tissue disruption, little micro tears. It can present as minimal swelling, mild tenderness, no instability, and most often the ability to bear weight. A grade 2 injury is a partial tear. Often there may be an audible pop with moderate swelling, moderate tenderness, and a feeling of minimal instability. A grade 3 injury is a complete tear. You will hear an audible pop with major swelling and tenderness and the inability to bear weight. If you suffer an ankle injury during training, I would recommend the following steps. First, stop immediately. Secondly, inspect the skin of the ankle joint closely, looking for any evidence of abrasions or scrapes, lacerations or cuts, or bruising. This may give you some information as to your injury. If you are unable to bear weight or hear a pop, it is advisable to go to the immediate care center and undergo an x-ray, a plain film of the ankle, to ensure that there is no fracture or dislocation complicating the injury. As far as physical therapy, there are four main phases of physical therapy. Phase one, decrease pain and inflammation. This is achieved by rest, ice, elevation, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories such as ibuprofen or naproxen, and Tylenol. Phase two begins once pain and inflammation are reduced to the point where you can go to phase two, which is regaining proper range of motion in the joint. Phase three, after range of motion has been regained, is regaining proper strength throughout the proper range of motion in the joint. And phase four is a gradual return to activities. General timelines for a grade one injury 1 to 14 days to return to activity. A grade 2 injury can take 3 to 6 months to return to full activity. And a grade 3 injury can take up to 12 months even when undergoing a surgical procedure to repair the ligament or tendon. Always discuss any injuries with your personal physician and always seek out the services of an experienced sports physical therapist.